shenanigans back again and welcome to the friday free game feature it's where we take a look at a free game online and find out whether or not it's worth your time today's episode we're looking at egypt adventure it's a platformer with some light rpg elements designed by alex arroyo duke it is available for windows and mac it's about a month old according to desura i'm pretty sure it's been out a little longer than that and it's, uh, it features both Spanish and English. Uh, the, nat- the developer's native language is Spanish, but they have English as well. So, uh, you can find it on Desura, and I guess we'll go ahead and take a look at Egypt Adventure. All right. Let's see if everything's working correctly here. All right, Egypt Adventure. Let's uh, I'll go ahead and show you the intro to this. Here we go. Long time ago, ancient gods ruled ancient Egypt. Each of them had their own attributes and powers, which were symbols of greatness to his faithfuls. Also, there were relics that were in power of these gods. One of them was Anubis' Cup of Ankh, Ankh which was able to grant or rest immortality. A bad day, Bata, Anubis' brother, stole the cup of Ankh and he fled. Not only stole the cup of Ankh, but also he ripped the power mace of Anubis. Anubis lost part of his power and a dark presence invaded Egypt. Anubis, took the decision to visit Ra Anubis decided to visit the god Ra in his temple in order to look for some help. Here begins the journey of Anubis to recover his legacy. Pretty interesting little story there. Make sure everything's going well. Everything looks fine. Good. And we will start the game. Okay. These are the different controls. Now, I have decided to map a controller. I'm using an open source program called Anti-Micro that allows me to map to a controller. It's a platformer game. I would like to have... Uh, let, me, uh, let me... I think the volume on this is a little high. Go ahead and turn this volume down just a little bit. Let's try about here. That's better. Okay. So, I remapped this using Anti-Micro. It's an open source uh, controller mapper. Uh, some people are familiar with XPatter. This is an open source free alternative. And I'm going to be using that because it's a platformer game. I, I like controllers for platformers, you know. So, uh, but we have these things called stones. Uh, you have some... It's like a magic power kind of thing. Give your specials, special attacks. So yeah. Okay, so your special skills. It's a boomerang item you can have and different types of attacks using the stones. And we have different types of enemies. You have your regular enemy. This one here is resistance to physical and weak to magic. And this one's strong against magic and weak to physical, okay. And the game automatically saves. All right. You don't understand something. You access help information. Destiny of Nubis is in your hands. All right, there's two game modes here. There's uh, arcade mode, which I have not played at all. Well, actually, I've only gotten the, the adventure. I've, I actually have played this for a couple minutes just to get the control set up for the uh, for the pad. But other than that, I haven't really played the game. So let's let's go ahead and play this ad- great adventure, the full experience of Egypt. Adventure. In this mode, you can earn souls to get stones at the Chamber of Souls. You know, stages to unlock new levels, and you can play them again whenever you want. It's recommended for beginners and those who want to discover all the secrets of Egypt Adventure. Alright, so Act 1. Get three papyrus fragments to access challenge of this act. Alright, we need to get three papyrus fragments. Alright. Let's begin. Alright. 
Okay, it's good. My controls are working. I notice there's a timer at the top of the screen. I guess I want... Okay, so we have an attack. That guy takes quite a few hits. Yeah, we're all right. Okay, so uh, you could liken these purple things to coins, maybe in Mario, and I've got some blue stuff, different powers. What is the key for that? Oh, I just used a bunch of it. I have to watch out to not use stuff when I don't need to. Got something there. Oh, that was probably one of the parchments, right. Okay. Level design looks pretty nice. The graphics are decent. Pit there. Wow. It gets really loud when you put everyone together, like, or you hit multiple things. And I'm in trouble. Ouch. Okay. I'm not exactly sure what all I'm looking for, but that looks like the end of the level. Okay. Level up. Chamber of Souls available. Without magic, all soul procs, all enemies killed. So I'm guessing that's kind of like an achievement type system. And then this thing, whatever that is. Okay. Moving on. Oh, that's cool. I can hit that guy, and I got a bone of some kind. Well, it's kind of cheesy, but I'll take it. They look relatively strong. Not sure what all these different powers do. Uh-oh. Let's get out of that pit. Yeah, we'll let them sit there in the pit. Wow, that guy took a lot of hits, and what? I don't like the looks of that. Deal with that in a minute. Oh, that thing follows you? That's somewhat annoying. Uh, how am I getting down there? Let's use our... We have enough power to use a special. And it... Oh, okay. Uh oh Snake. It's a snake! Why did it have to be snakes? I'm gonna guess that green stuff's actually life, and I probably shouldn't be using too much of it. I do not know, though, how... Well, I guess I don't need to fight that guy. Hmm, do I want to try to go across these? Ugh. Oh! Oh, this is... This looks bad. Hmm. Well, what's that thing? By death, I'm sure. It's kind of a... Green mummy and another snake. Ugh. Away, snake. Well, they got the music right, that's for sure. It's a cup. Oh, gosh, I don't know if there's a floor there. Let's try it. Time. Without magic, enemies 1890. Did I collect everything I needed? That's, I'm not necessarily sure. I guess I could use a little more information. Uh, you know, maybe if these had like a mouse over kind of thing, I could understand what's going on. But right now I'm just kind of progressing and not necessarily sure. And hello, Athena. 
welcome. Uh, be sure, uh, if you guys are interested, man, you know, be sure to follow the stream. There should be a little button down there. And uh, I thank you guys so much for joining us. And we will continue on. Okay, what do we got here? We got some... Like a, oh, there's like a rock there. Oh, that bounced me. Okay. So some kind of a trampoline mechanic there. They look kind of like maybe spider webs. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's a big beetle type of thing. Wow, he had a lot of stuff. I don't necessarily want to just jump down there. Let's... Let's go this way. Okay. Whoa, that was kind of... That's cool. I like the action of that. Oh, that reminds me of the old... That is a platformer staple right there. Stalactites falling on you. Some kind of a cave. Oh, that's problematic. I think he's just going to sit there. You know what? Can I... You can't duck and shoot at the same time? That's kind of a disappointment. I guess they set it up, though, so you can kind of... Yeah, I don't know what he... I wouldn't necessarily use the word cheese things, because these guys do take some hits. They give you some advantageous positions. Let's put it that way. Darn it. Okay. Wow, and you jump higher and higher the farther you, uh, the more you're on that. Oh, that was a false floor. That's not cool. It didn't even crumble away. That's kind of reminiscent of the old Castlevania stuff where, yeah, you, know, you don't see it coming. Have fun with that. Oh, apparently I tripped on a rock and killed myself. Okay. Would have thought you could at least bypass that while it was on the ground. Apparently you have to jump over it. this little stupid jump. And landed right on the rock. Oh, that was my bad. And I'm in big trouble. Grab that health. stuck in the ceiling and then okay let's try it again I'm not sure I understand the different types of magic there's like two of these different stones and I've yet to see it's supposed to be Aha, well, I've got that. Let's see what that does. Well, it fires farther. You 
can't use it while you're jumping? Oh no, I'm actually out of mana. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Yeah, see, every time he goes there, he takes this little hop. Okay. So using the mana is... That's preferential. Getting more of it, though, is also, you know, there's a resource management, obviously. Oh, boy. Um, are, are they seriously going to make me... All right, tech with those guys. Don't know how I dodged those guys just twice there. And I didn't dodge them that time. Hey, there's the boomerang. I can get it. Alright, now somewhere there was a false floor here. It was right about here. I think the bug will go down it, right? Yeah. So I had to jump across that. Okay. That boomerang's pretty handy. It looks like you have to keep re-catching it, though. So once you lose it, you're kind of in trouble. wonder if there's more... F that looks like it might be another false floor. I don't have a lot of time left. It's time to get a move on. And I lost the boomerang. Come back, boomerang. No, boomerang, you're supposed to come back to me. Bye, boomerang. miss you. Ugh. Whoa. Wasn't watching my step there. Okay, so really all I have to do now is get to this thing. That falls and hits the Ugh. side. Really? Let's get out of here. Wow. Okay, so I've got some bones and some, I don't know, poison drops or something there. Not exactly sure. Let's see what everybody's going on here. Level up thing, it says how much you gain. Yeah, but I'm not sure what to do with it. Um, I'm trying to figure out, can I... I don't know if there's a way I can go into... Like, I just keep going to other levels. I can't seem to find... Because they said something about leveling up with a, with your souls. But I'm not finding anything. Like, I'm trying to click on stuff. And I can't go anywhere. I hit next, and it just takes me to another level. Can I... That pauses. Reset level, go to menu. No, I don't need that. Let's... let's zoom, just... There again, okay. Yeah, so I'm a little confused, because I thought they said something about you can upgrade your skills. Really, Snake? Maybe you have to find... Maybe you have to find those skills. 
I know I got mana for both of these attacks. Whoops. And I'm going to say right now, these platforms have a little... There's a little slip. Like, more than I'd expect. Maybe it's the rain. It's slicking the platforms. I feel the controls for some other games are much tighter than this. Alright, so we're going to jump our way up this and almost fall. And there is a horde of things over there. Something else I noticed, which I can't necessarily say I'm surely happy about, is that sometimes, like, if you, you can hold jump and just keep jumping. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of that. Because you try and sometimes to go for a long jump and you hold down the button while you're platforming and when you land, you're... You know, you yeah. jump again, which you didn't necessarily want to do. I got him down to one health now, too. And I'm out of mana. I got this attack. That guy wants to jump down on my head. Now I only got like 30 seconds left for this level. What the bloomin' onion? Oh, lovely. Well, let's hope the end is very near. Well, it will be. We got an onk. Uh-oh. Ran out of time. Oh, just what you want to see in a, uh, in a level. Oh, man, there's only been a couple of games that have a time limit platformer that I've actually enjoyed. Most famous of which would probably be Mario. This is an okay game, but I wouldn't go so far as to say it's Mario. This jump is rather annoying. Let's go the other way. Yes, why not? Let's just go down here. don't want to hit that right now. Is he going to come down after me? Yep. Slowly and surely. There we go. Uh, I guess we'll hit it now. Might as well. Yeah, I want that mana. Don't... Stupid rocks. Wow, that's just dumb. So there's that platforming problem again when you go to make a long jump, you end up jumping twice. Not a fan of that. supposed to be going. There's the end. Wow. That is some crappy mechanics. 
I'm sorry. You make enemies that you can't jump over, so it's... You're just gonna say, oh, by the way, you're just gonna have to deal with that. Take the damage and like it. Alright. So we've leveled up. I don't understand how we get to that some kind of chamber of souls thing. Uh, let's see. Yeah, exactly. I'm a little frustrated by trying to understand. I could under could have swore there was something about going to the chamber of souls, but I don't know how you get there. Okay, get three papyrus. So I'm still missing the fragments to continue. To access the challenge of this act. Now I have access to another level. So I'm missing papyrus fragments. So what do you think? Should I just keep going through this? Or should I go look for the papyrus fragments? What do you guys think? I'll wait for a moment see what you guys say. So we go for fragments and redo these levels or continue onward if they allow us to continue onward. Frustrated? I, I am a little frustrated with it. It's take your lickens and like it. Yeah, exactly. Well. Hey, a little bit longer here, and we're gonna we're gonna move on. I suppose I'll just continue to one five if they let me. We'll just see as much of the game as we can. Yeah, I guess that's what we're gonna do. We will continue on. I can go down there. I can hit this, and I'll definitely go get that. And we'll kill a mummy. Maybe. There we go. Get some mana. At least I would. I call it mana. It's it's blue magic energy, right? That's. We all agree that's basically mana, right? That's that's the word everyone calls calls that. I wonder why they call that. Like, where where did that word come from? Mana. Like, I mean, like, I know that, you know, back in the old days there was. What was it bread? There was a type of bread that was called mana. But, you know, what would that have to do with, you know, magic energy? I'm sure it's, you know, not not the same type of thing at all. wonder where the term came from, though. Okay. Whoa! That was unexpected. Hey, we got a fragment. We got some some juice. Boomerang. We got the boomerang. Don't know for how long. Boomerang, go. Is this level... For a minute, I thought the level was repeating itself. That's another wonderful mechanic. Let's drop you directly onto enemies you can't see. Though I suppose... I don't know if the screen shifts far enough for you to see that. Boomerang. Let's get some mana. Let's get some life. Come back here. Wow. Thanks, Boomerang. You were a big help for the 10 seconds you were here. Now, apparently, I have to race to an exit. 
Is that a boss? What? Destroy the obelisk to continue, and I was out of time. Wow. So, I need to hurry. Okay. Those orange projectiles are really annoying. Sure, I'll take the boomerang. Okay. So we basically just need to get... Yeah, see? There's no way you would know that guy was there. And they're going to make it so that you land right on him when you fall. Real classy game. Classy. Real classy. Got this orange garbage to deal with. I love how it's like homing poison or something. Get out of here. When's, when's the last time you saw a scorpion, you know, shoot poison that, you know, homes in on you? He's got homing missile poison. It's amazing. All right, let's look down. Okay, now, no, we can't see anything. Yeah, and they put a guy right there. There's a lot of BS, I think, that you could you could easily call on this game. Nah, to heck with it. We just gotta go. Okay, we gotta destroy the obelisks. And dodge the homing poison. Boomerang, yes! Wow, those things last... Look at that! What? Really? Really? Do they have a range of yes? What's the deal with that? Thanks, game. Okay, so you're supposed to hurry through the levels, take out the homing poison, dodge the random guys, It's one of them games you're supposed to be practiced at and, you know, learn where everything is. That guy you can't even jump over. Interesting. So what do you guys say? Huh? Let's see. It's not Mario. Okay, my FPS is good. Drop frames. Just checking that. Uh, get the papyrus. Redo the levels. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, you might have some delay. It's not a big deal. It's we're okay. Well, we'll we'll try doing some of the papyrus thing. Let's go ahead and see if we can find more of these papyrus. Die snake. These controls are well. You know what? It's not really the controls. It's the way that the enemies and the attacks work. A lot of the enemies are made so that they're tall enough it's hard to jump over them. So they give you an attack, which, you know, that's fine. But they, it seems like they put you in positions where you're going to land on enemies whether you like it or not. Which seems... 
Kinda, eh? Okay. I'm pretty sure we cleared everything in this level before, though. We get an Ankh. Not sure if that means too much. Jump, 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 jump. All right. sucked kind of all right let's continue on i think it is weird that you can't duck and shoot duck and shoot at the same time i wonder if you can use that I wonder if you can duck and jump to go down platforms no so that doesn't work either. So all the down button, or, you know, all the down really does is allow you to look below you, which is handy, what, 5% of the time? Wow, homing poison. You guys gotta watch out for that homing poison, remember. So scorpions are ridiculously overpowered. And they've set that guy up. Oh, I'm gonna die. It's life over here. The thing is, I've got to find and I'm out of mana. There we go. Nope, go away. You can't jump. Ugh. Frustrating. How am I even supposed to get up there? I don't think the guy jumps that high. I guess he does. Now I've got to dodge homing poison. And I'm out of... See, that is ridiculous. Ridiculous. I'd like to know where you're supposed to be able to level, like, do stuff with your abilities. Still haven't figured that out at all. Oh, we run into a scorpion, of course. Silly of me. Go away! Go away, homing poison! takes me to the end of the level, which doesn't help. We're looking for the parchments. But I don't know if I can uh. get back here. Uh-oh. Uh. Wow. Yes, let's make that dude big enough to hit you. These controls are kind of garbage.
I mean, I've played some pretty frustrating games, but this one is... This one's up there. We cheese... Yeah, we can cheese that guy through the thing. But now we are in dire trouble. Okay. Can we get in? How do we get in? Oh, see, there's a case where... Okay. I don't know how I'm supposed to get in there. Looks like there's probably a good reason to go in there. Ooh, this might actually just be where we die because... Yeah. You can't get down there and then he hits you. Okay, so yeah, I could definitely see that this... game could probably use a little more in terms of hints, I guess, because I'm just trying to understand where you're supposed to go. There's supposed to be this chamber of souls or something like that. I bet there's something important up there. We need to get up there. How do we get up there? We can't get up there. So it's a case if you miss the jump, you have to restart the level. All right, well, maybe I'm just spoiled by better games, or maybe this game's just not good. It's one or the other. I'm... I mean, I gotta, I gotta say, I mean, the other week we played, uh, you have to win the game, and that thing, it, you know, to be fair, that game is kind of a masterpiece for a free yeah. title. It's amazing. This one, not so much. It's not bad. Well, okay, it's not... Let's say it's not horrible. But I wouldn't call it a masterpiece by any means. Look at this. It's just... Frustrating... Like, look at the situation. If I jump up there, chances are I get killed, and I can't make the jump to get over to those jars. Yeah. Yep. Amazing. Amazing game. Hey, Mandel Sage, how are you doing? So we are in the middle of trying to find some papyrus. Alright, so we need to make... Yeah, you need to make that jump right away. And not get killed by those things. If you miss this jump, though... You can't get what's in here. Okay, which is some kind of a time thing. Grant you more... More time. Oh, yay, the boomerang. Yeah. Come back, boomerang. You know, it's funny that the boomerang can't seem to find its way back to you, but that, uh, that scorpion's projectile attack knows exactly where you are. I would classify this platformer as frustration. Yeah. <laughs> For operator error, I'd let you know. Well, gee, thanks. That makes me feel that makes me feel a lot better. Yeah, this is a very frustrating game. And how long have we been going for now? 
Um, we are still missing a papyrus fragment. Let's see. You know what? Let's see if I am a, a glutton for punishment. Let's see if we can at least get this papyrus fragment. Maybe getting all those is what's required. See, look at this. Uh, well, at least he's short enough you can jump over. Oh, our friend the, the scorpion. See, now, I don't have a problem with the idea of, you know, having precision attacks like that. But you're also putting it on a time limit. There's a lot of things about this game that is just kind of cheesy. Like, they have a lot of good ways to just kind of wreck you. And you know what? If done right, those kind of games are fun. I mean, I love the old class uh, Castlevania games and stuff like that. And, it, you know, a lot of those are set up in a way that you have to start memorizing the level. And I'm fine with that. As long as the rest of the game works cohesively together. Unhurt. Look at that. I actually got a kind of an achievement there. But I didn't find anything in that level. I'm still looking for a fragment. We well, you know there's no really a, there's not really a fragment up here. things though the time things probably relatively valuable ah. see the thing about the games again like I was going to say about say you know take Castlevania for example okay now that game is difficult and it rewards you for memorizing levels. But the controls for the game are not... Uh, well, they're they're actually pretty... pretty good. And... short of a couple of their, you know, more difficult enemies, you are able to dodge their attacks and things like that. Okay. So we were able to get in there, but there was no parchment. So... That was a bit of a waste. Did we go this way? No, and I can see why not. Um, problems. Yeah, you can't jump. Wow, okay. Uh-oh, not him. Anything but him. Oh, come on, really? It doesn't disappear when you go off screen? Scorpions are ridiculous. All right. Down to one health, unfortunately. So I really don't feel like getting too adventurous here. Oh, no. deal with this guy like I can't drop down there or I die I can't jump over him because he's too tall can we like go off to the screen and reset him nope so now I need to go go somewhere to find health otherwise I'm dead You know what? I may be calling this a 
game very soon. I would have liked to have found the Chamber of Souls, though. You know what? It's my guess that it's not even here. The fragment, that is, to get that final piece. Homing poison. Pretty sure I've explored this entire spot. Go away. That guy is just waiting for me, and I'm dead. We uh, think we're going to stop. Let's go to the menu. Oh, hey! Chamber of Souls! Guys, we found the Chamber of Souls! Take this thousand souls to spend as you like. So, why didn't it show up prior? I'm not quite sure I understand. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not quite sure I understand why it didn't show up before. Well, while we're here, let's at least see what this... Thousand souls to spend as you like. So... How many souls do we currently... Okay, 47, 46. Now, what do these things do? And I have some bones and poison drops? Brave, Serenity, Fury. So these are spe special kinds of attacks. So they all, they both, so one damage on each of those. Velocity, distance. And I already have this. These must be requirements. So I have two and level six. So I could get this. Let's go ahead. No, I don't have enough of these, obviously. So it's kind of a requirements, different requirements. Guess we'll go ahead and get this. And what are these buttons for? Is that to cycle through? Okay, yeah, this is to cycle through the different abilities. So there are quite a lot. I just wish they would have made it more apparent as to where we are. And that's what we have. Yeah, why this didn't show up until I went basically to the main menu makes little sense to me. So we will create that. One, two, what does that mean? Do we have it now? One, two, I don't, I don't know what, two. Oh, it's what we equip it with. Okay. So these would be our two attacks. So this one does more magic, this one does more melee. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I don't understand why they did it like that. Honestly, unless they've got so many levels this whole thing fills up, I would have put it on this screen here at least. Or maybe even made it an option. It's still missing a fragment. You know what? Let's go into this. I kind of want to see what these do. Am I totally out of mana? Oh, there, I got this one. That attack I think I already had. Coming poison. Watch out. Something else I don't necessarily understand is that there's two... There's a mana bar for each of the stones. And I'm not sure what dictates which mana is which. Because I switched to the empty. 
And it doesn't fill up even though the other one's already full. Not sure I understand. See, like this one, from what I can tell, is empty. But grabbing mana doesn't do anything. Alright, so we got our boomerang. We got our homing poison. Wow. Yeah. Frustration. All right, so can't even see what the other attack does. So you know what? We're going to go back to menu. So we did find the Chamber of Souls. Great adventure. Oh, it's okay adventure. Let's put it that way. Anyway, I think we may end up calling this an episode... I think we're going to call this an episode here. The game is Egypt Adventure. You can find it for free, available on Desura. I'll go ahead and bring up a URL. Get that up there. There we go. Desura.com. You could also just go to EgyptAdventureGame.com. My thoughts on this game, it's frustrating. Again, frustrating is a very important word uh, as far as this goes. If you like the harder type of platformers, your Castlevania type games, you might enjoy this. As you can tell from the gameplay, there are some things that, cohesively, I don't think it fits together perfectly. There just seems to be a lot of areas where you're just kind of dead to the way the game mechanics work. I guess I wouldn't recommend this necessarily. Uh, you know, if you like hard games, though, I guess it's something you might want to try. But that'll do it for this episode of the Friday Free Game Feature. Join us next week. We'll take a look at another free game. Until then... Thanks for watching, and take care, guys.